Hey folks, Sean here checking out Bejeweled Blitz Live with Kirk Scott from PopCap who's here to give us a demo of the game. Kirk, explain to us what's going on right here. What's going on right here is you are actually in a room with 16, 15 other people playing real time and trying to battle your way to the top of the leaderboard. That's me, I'm at the bottom because I just started, but I will be at the top soon, hopefully. So everybody knows the core bejeweled mechanics of trying to match three different gems, and that's obviously here, but you guys have added a whole bunch of other dressings around that to really sort of amp up the experience. It looks a little bit more, a little more high octane than regular bejeweled. It's definitely more high octane, and it's definitely based around competing with your friends. Um, we have a friend score in there, which kind of rolls up a score with you and all of your friends who are playing the game. And there's also like real-time leaderboards that you can kind of check in on and see who's passed you lately. There's messaging around that. There's a lot going on, and it's basically kind of designed to be patterned toward the Xbox Live player. This is our, you know, Call of Duty at yeah. PopCap. I mean, you mentioned the whole Call of Duty, whole geometry wars. It's very much about competition. What do you guys do to foster that competition? Uh, we play a lot of Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, no, actually, you know, it's all about getting a better score than the person that is ahead of you. Okay. So, you know, that's what keeps people playing this game. It's, it's blitz, it's one minute, it's a quick time slice, it's jump in um, and play. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of people that I'm in this room with that I'm competing against. And that's what it's all about. It's all about kind of just bringing it in and trying to get better scores over one minute. And then you can just jump right back in and keep playing. And what happens when you get to the top of that ladder right there? So when you get to the top three or four uh, people on this leaderboard, you'll start earning more XP than everyone else in that room that's competing. So there's some benefits to being up at the top. And also, you know, we may have tied in a couple of achievements to that. Um, you have to get the game and find out. Oh wait, there's a hypercube. Watch. <laughs> oh, that, that, I believe that's called a splosion? That's that called right? a splosion. Nice. Yes, no E. Silent E on splosion. Yeah. Apostrophe S. That's right. Uh, there's And there's a couple other modes in here as well, right? Yeah. So what we have, for the first time, we've done a one minute twist mode. Um, we've done a head-to-head -head battle over Xbox Live and on your couch, so you and I can sit there and play best of five with two boards on the same screen and just go head-to-head, -head, and that's pretty fun. Um, and we've also kind of wrapped in, you know, the, the, the big deal is twist, um, and we've opened that up a lot. And so you could twist both ways and kind of move around the board, and it really opens up the board, and it creates some really high scores, so we think that Everyone thinks they can get a higher score on Twist. We'll see. All right, Kirk. Well, we appreciate this little demo that you've given us. Can you uh, finish us off by letting us know when you expect the game to be out? Um, it's. I expect the game to be out as soon as Microsoft decides it wants to be out. All right. Um, you know, we don't know what order we're going to be in in House Party. Cool. Yeah. So we'll, well see. Well, hopefully sometime soon. It'll be in the next seven weeks. All right. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you.